Friends eventually proved that Mark, Stephen Eckholt, wasn't the reason for Ross, David Schwimmer, and Rachel's, Jennifer Aniston, breakup. The popular sitcom, which ran for 10 seasons between 1994 and 2004, contributed one of pop culture's most iconic on-again off-again relationships with Ross and Rachel. Although the pair met when they were both in high school, they didn't get together permanently until the final episode of the show despite having briefly dated, even more briefly gotten married, and had a baby in the meantime. Over the years, Ross and Rachel had many different romantic partners who weren't one another, but one of the most important love interests to join the Friends cast was Mark. Mark was Rachel's co-worker at Bloomingdale's who became a major romantic temptation for her. Although she attempted to date him after she and Ross fought and took a break from their relationship, she quickly rejected him and became upset when she found out Ross had slept with another woman, leading to the long-running catchphrase, we were on a break, being used by Ross throughout the rest of the show. Mark was always the test for Ross and Rachel's romance, not the cause of the breakup. Ross and Rachel went on a break on their own terms. While Mark was a major figure during the Friends episodes leading up to Ross and Rachel's breakup in season 3, he is ultimately not to blame for their first major off-again period. Ultimately, the blame falls on Ross' jealousy and the couple's lack of communication. While Ross being jealous over Mark getting to spend time with Rachel at work was the catalyst for the fight that led to them being on a break, ultimately the breakup didn't stem from anything that Mark or Rachel did while she was in a relationship with Ross. Ultimately, quite a few of Rachel's boyfriends and Ross' girlfriends on Friends could be considered obstacles to their relationship. This includes Julie, Lauren Tom, who Ross was revealed to be dating at the moment when Rachel was ready to tell him she was interested in him, or Paolo, Cosimo Fusco, who interrupted a night where Ross attempted to make a move. However, as it neared its final episode in 2004, the iconic sitcom proved that Mark was never such an obstacle, but rather a test. Mark's return in Friends season 10 was the perfect bookend for Ross and Rachel's story. Mark's later Friends cameo brought their storyline full circle. Stephen Eckholt as Mark runs into Jennifer Aniston as Rachel on the street in Friends. This point was driven home when Mark reappeared in season 10 and offered Rachel the job that threatened to take her to Paris and separate her from her friends. His appearance on two different Friends seasons spaced so far apart proved how much the couple had grown since then, as they eventually found a way back to one another. This latter appearance proved what his season 3 arc had already laid the groundwork for, which is the fact that Ross and Rachel's reactions to him were always more important than anything he actually did, or his secret crush on Rachel.